The Birmingham Zoo tonight is speaking out about shutting down its lorikeet exhibit. We first told you Wednesday at 6 that several of the birds there tested positive for a bacterial infection. WI1842 News reporter Stefan Dingle is live at the zoo with more on what this could mean for you and your family. Stefan? Yeah, Sherry. Well, it can mean a lot for viewers at home. They're calling it chlamydia psychosis. That's what a few birds here at the Birmingham Zoo recently tested positive for. And although the, although there's a small chance, humans can get can get the disease as well. At the Birmingham Zoo, parents take their kids to see lions, tigers, bears, and birds. <laughs> A few birds at the zoo's lorikeet aviary tested positive for a bacterium called Chlamydophila cytosai. Well, try saying that five times fast. The disease from that bacterium is called cytokosis. We closed the aviary as a precaution. Uh, at that point, we didn't know if there was only one bird infected and we had the case moved to the health center or if we had more than one bird. It turns out there was more than one bird, as it could have infected others as it can sometimes be transmitted to humans. The Alabama Department of Public Health urged visitors like Andy Caliendo, who visited the aviary in the past 30 days, to take notice. And um, immediately went to the website to see if there's anything I had to do. Um, did I need to call my doctor? Did I need to uh, worry about getting on medicine? Um, but I was definitely nervous when I heard about it. But health officials are saying while you have every right to worry, the disease is rarely transmitted to humans unless you have prolonged contact with infected birds. Yeah, realistically, the chance of transmission to people is low. Um, there are less than 50 cases of this disease reported in the U.S. every year. Zoo officials say visitors should know it's still okay and safe to come out and see the other animals while they treat all their birds to ensure they are all disease free. Now, the Laura Key Aviary will remain closed for at least 45 days pending follow ups that the doctors do on the birds to check their progress. In Birmingham, Stefan Dingle, WIT 42 News, coverage you can count on.